Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Desert video. So one of the most popular topics in this past few weeks is the T10 horses, specifically the upcoming T10 Doom. But for newer players, especially the ones that have joined my circle, it's kind of getting confusing on how to really get there. And I have a few conversations with them on trying out BDO, but like they say, like they're so confused on the grinding, the heating, the manufacturing and so on and so forth so i would try my best to keep it as simple as possible breaking it down into steps so that you could follow along and prepare for your t10 doom step one is the hardest and the most expensive one but you can also put this one at the end if you do not have the budget yet now you would need to get a level 30 plus female and a level 30 plus male of the same type so now for the free dream horse you already have yours you have to level that one to level 30 plus and you would get like the opposite gender now these can be bought out off of the horse market especially those people that are offloading their imperfect stat horse so just try and save up money that you get so that like you can get these horses easily i do not recommend tapping um on your own for these horses like you know getting a course and all because that could be a slippery slope and you'll lose a lot of funds from there step two is fairly easy and it's to acquire the items that are easily accessible through the marketplace now the number mentioned here is per attempt so multiply it depending on your target attempts so the first is 10 powder of flame so if you would want 10 attempts then you would need 100 pieces of this one so this is very cheap accessible through the marketplace because it's accessible through through the nodes the fire horns are from the hunters so you could buy like there's a lot of this one like listed in the marketplace and the blackstone powder which you can also get from grinding your black stones if you have extra ones step three is preparing for the mythical powder now we already talked about the blackstone powder so we can strike that one off the next is the fruit of enchantment now this one is uh can be pre-ordered from the market but also the easiest way to get this one is through gathering wild herbs around you know er anywhere in the world and also farming for like these ones um through breeding so we would have like a separate like video for that one but basically what you need to do is have you know an alt that would do the farming and gathering for you and i would recommend to have it near trent so you have access to all of the wild herbs over there and you'll be able to breed your fire flakes over there with the space that is available there now the everlasting herb too can also be obtained through that like gathering of the wild herbs which of course is rare to get but i recommend for you to put pre-orders for both of these ones in the marketplace at all times because there are some people that does dump them whenever they finish their attempt and most of the items that i have um, for these ones were pre-orders so good luck on that one and then the next one is the flower of oblivion and this is only obtained by imperial horsing your imperial horse delivery of a level 15 horse and above now they would be increasing the amount of this one on um, the succeeding patches so um, just watch out for this so hold on to your level 15 plus horses up until the patch um, releases and all you have to do and what I normally do is like wait for the mark like wait for anybody to sell one on the market I buy it and then I imperial it easy peasy you don't have to have like um, to train these ones if you don't want to because you know a lot of people are concerned about cost opportunity so this is the easiest way to do so now the next one is the royal fern root which is a weekly and a daily horse train a taming quest and i would recommend for you to do this with wapra at the stone tail um, node and it's fairly easy you just talk to him you get the quest and then you go to this location right here there are three horses that spawn here that is very near and 
one good thing is like when you catch horses like you could sell them from the range of 4 to 15 million based on my experience so that's extra money too and then after that one you would be getting the royal fern root and for the next like you know succeeding patch it would be 50 for the weekly and then like a certain amount depending on your training level uh, for the daily the next step is preparing for the old moon sensor now this is kind of like the most priciest one of them all and kind of like the hardest to obtain because a lot of people are pre-ordering and buying out the market and currently it's sold out but let's get the easiest piece out of the way first so the old moon sensor mold is the one that you could buy from the old moon shop for 20 million a piece now let me show you from the map where he is you need to go to medaya then to altinova and then to jacks that's the only thing that you need to do and then just buy it from him be careful not to over buy i mistakenly bought like over 90 of these ones and i haven't used it yet so the next one is the pure copper crystal now these ones are you know can be pre-ordered it gets fulfilled you know probably i would say like once a week um if you're lucky because like there's a lot of people that does create these ones um it needs metal solvents and copper ingot so if you have a copper node you can have a lot of these ones but for the metal solvents that is another thing because that needs the clear liquid region metal iron shards rough stones and trace of savagery so if you have those materials keep them so that you could create your own metal solvents now this is also used for the pure platinum crystal the pure tin crystal and the moonlight opal so metal solvent is a very important item for t10 um, acquisition so all of these ones like the pure platinum crystal again like pure tin crystal and moonlight opal can be obtained by pre-ordering it from the market but if you want an alternative for the pure platinum crystal you can heat up any pry to try blue grade accessory let me repeat that pry to try because like there's a couple of people that heats their blue grade accessory that is base base then there's pry there's duo there's try so remember that like, you have to have like a pry duo or try in order to get the melody of the stars now you would need 25 of these ones in order for you know to make one recipe now for the pure tin crystal there's no alternative unfortunately but there is a tin node that you could harvest and of course they try to get metal solvents magical lightstone crystal which is plenty there's a lot of like you know players are getting this one left and right so all you have to do is buy them off of the market and then um, exchange them to dalishan which is on every town every major city and then you would get like five or six um, for the lower ones but for the 50 million plus ones you would get 100 so basically these are 150 million items which is better than like waiting for the moonlight opal so step five is gathering and getting the mythical feather so the easiest thing to do is go to the loyalty shop get the fairy petals and then exchange it at the Kamasov temple for fairy wings now if you get the tier 4 and the tier 3 then you could get one to two mythical feathers i believe they would be increasing this one soon and then you could exchange like the other ones the sweet honey wines that you get from the tier 1 and tier 2 for additional funds um, for your pre-orders on other stuff for the future patches too, they're going to be adding um, Offin Tet as one of the primary droppers for this one, which is a world boss. And also the field bosses would now have a chance to drop these ones. Um, these field bosses are not the Dark Rift, so just like keep that in mind. And they would be all the as, um, adding a way to get more of these ones um, soon. These are just from the global patch and announcements yet, so I don't want to kind of like give that out as an information we'll 
make an update on that one once it has arrived on the live server. And last but not the least is manufacturing or processing the materials that you get. So first is the mythical powder. So we have the everlasting herb, the fruit of enchantment, blackstone powder, flower of oblivion, and royal fern. So it doesn't matter. You just have to throw it on the processing window and you will have the mythical powder. The next one is the sensor. So you have the old moon sensor mold, the copper, the platinum, the tin, and the opal. And if you have the alternatives, throw them into the manufacturing um, processing. And all you have to do is start and you would get the old moon sensor. So now you have all of the materials. You have the old moon sensor, the mythical powders, and then also you would have like the fire horns and then the um, mythical feathers and the powder of flames all in place then you would just start and that is how you make the mythical sensor and finally for the last step or step seven is to tap it so you put in your two horses you click the middle to put the sensor and you name your horse now i want to get the dine because i already have the mythical pegasus so hopefully i get this one and this is how the enhancement work. I would suggest you wait for the stacking, but 